Today we'll be looking at insulin. Remember, insulin helps to reduce blood glucose levels by increasing glucose transport across cell membranes. Uh, insulin is indicated in type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes not responding to oral hypoglycemic medications. It's also used for gestational diabetes not responding to diet. Let's look at the categories of insulin. We have the rapid acting, we have the short acting, we have the intermediate acting, and long acting. So what are the types of uh, that fall under these categories? For your rapid acting, we have Humalog and Novolog. Humalog is also called Lispro. Novolog is also known as Aspart. We also have short acting, which is our regular insulin. So those that come with the letter R, your humulin R, your novolin R. So those are your short acting. There's also the intermediate acting where you have your humulin N or your NPH, even isophane. So those are your intermediate acting insulin. And with our long acting, we have Levimir and Lantus. So Levimir is also known as Detimir. And Lantus is also known as glargine. So again, it, most times it's confusing. How do I remember which falls under uh, which particular category? Well, I have this uh, mnemonic I found on uh, the registered nurses RN uh, website, which can help you to remember which falls under which category. So you're going to have to write out insulin this way. And then we are going to start putting in these categories and types to fit into uh, this insulin that we've written. One way uh, you can remember this is ready, set, inject, love. So again, you see what I've done there? The R for rapid acting, I've used that to form ready. The S, I've used that to form set. The I, I use that to form inject. And the L, I use that to form love. So you want to remember ready, set, inject, love. So what does all this mean? Okay, ready reminds me of rapid. So I'm going to go with my rapid first. And you can see what I've done there. I've used the I to form rapid. So again, that's my rapid acting insulin. What else? We said ready, set. So set, S there tells me set. Set reminds me of my S, short acting. So I'm going to throw that there. So that's my short acting. Again, if you look at this, we have INS, which is three alphabets. LIN, this is another three alphabets. So U is almost like at the center right there, at the intermediate. So again, U is at right at the center there. So that's one way to remember it. So remember, we said ready, set, I for inject. And again, that I reminds you of your intermediate uh, insulin. So again, which is your intermediate, your humulin, N, or your NPH. So I'm going to use the CU over here to form my humulin. So that is going to go there to remind me just at the center there where you have the U is our intermediate acting. So my humulin N, I can also use this N to form my NPH. So again, those are my intermediate acting insulin. And finally, love, L love, long acting. So again, L here, I'm going to use that to form my long acting insulin. So what next? Now I need to, I've, I've written out my categories. I need to go back and put in the different types. So again, with my rapid A, I can see an A here. I can see A here. I also see A here. So again, I can use that to form my humor log. So that's my rapid acting insulin humor log. Okay, again, you can see N over here, and there's, so, there's also N here. So this would be my Novolog. So technically, these parts over here, the two of them, form my rapid acting insulin, my Humalog, and Novolog. Okay, so we'll go to our short acting. Remember, we said S reminded us of our short acting. And one of our short acting insulin is your regular insulin. Again, if you look at short, you see there's an R here. 
So technically I can use R to form my regular insulin. So that's one way to remember that. Regular insulin, the R in your short acting will remind you of regular insulin. Again, we already uh, fixed our humulin N and our NPH at the middle of insulin, which reminded us of our intermediate acting. So we are left with our long acting. Remember your long acting is your levimere and lantus. Again, I can see I over here and I have I here also. I see N over here and I also have N here. So I'm going to use that to form my levimere. I'm going to use the N to form my lantus. So again, just right over here, these below here are my long acting. So I can cut this out. So here is my short acting. Here is my intermediate acting. And up here is my rapid acting. So this is one way for you to remember where each of these categories falls. Again, we need to look at the onset, peak, and duration of all of these uh, insulin types. So I've broken them down here. We have our rapid acting, which is your humolog and novolog. Again, what is the onset time for your rapid acting? It can be confusing. Our onset is 15 minutes. The peak is in one hour. The insulin peaks in one hour, and it can last for three hours. Again, how do you remember these numbers? I need you to remember this phrase. 15 minutes feels like one hour during three responses. Again, 15 minutes feels like an hour during three rapid, okay, rapid responses. So you want to remember that 15 minutes, which is our onset, feels like an hour, which is our peak, during three, which is our duration, rapid responses. So rapid reminds you of your rapid acting insulin. How about our short acting insulin? Again, the onset is 30 minutes. The peak is two hours. The duration is eight hours. How do you want to remember that? This is a phrase you can memorize. Short staff nurses went from 30 patients to eight patients. Okay? Short staff nurses went from 30 patients to eight patients. Again, the short over here tells me I'm talking about my short acting insulin. Again, my onset is 30 minutes. It peaks in two hours and the duration is eight hours. How about your intermediate acting, which is your NPH and your humulin N? The onset is two hours. The peak is eight hours. The duration is 16 hours. How do you want to remember that? Nurses play hero to eight 16 year old children. Again, why are there so many words? Because the N in nurses is my N in NPH. The P, P, hero, H, H. So that's my NPH over there. Nurses play hero. Two, two is my onset. Eight is my peak. And 16 hours is my duration for my intermediate. And finally, your long acting, the onset is two hours. It does not peak. And the duration is for 24 hours. How do you want to remember that? The two long nursing shifts never peaked, but lasted 24 hours. Again, two is my onset. Long tells me I'm looking at long acting. Never peaked tells me there's no peak with long acting insulin. And 24 tells me my duration. So that's one way you can remember that. Remember, you can watch this video over and over again to get it stuck in your memory. So let's look at our nursing considerations with uh, insulin. So you want to teach your client to rotate sites to prevent lipohypertrophy. What's your lipohypertrophy? This is what they look like. So you have those fibro fatty masses that develop at injection sites. So you want to tell them, do not inject insulin into these masses. One other nursing consideration you must keep at the back of your mind is that only regular insulin can be given IV, which are your regular insulins. Remember, we said they are, they are your shots, and we said the R represents regular. So your humulin R, your novolin R, those are your regular insulin. They are the only ones that can be given IV, although all can be given subcutaneously. But please note, only regular insulin can be given IV. In terms of herbal interaction, 
you need to remember that these herbal uh, medications can increase your blood glucose, the B pollen, your ginkgo biloba, and your glucosamine. They can all or they may increase blood glucose. So you want to remind your client about that. And again, which ones can decrease or may decrease blood glucose? One of them would be your basil leaf. The bay leaf also can also decrease blood glucose. Chromium can also decrease, decrease blood glucose. Uh, your garlic, your echinacea, and finally your ginseng. All of these can um, reduce blood glucose.